Hey everybody, welcome to the front porch. My name's Todd and this is my friend Poochie. And today we're having a family friendly discussion about addiction and how to cure it. So come on back after this word from the porch and we'll talk about it. There's gotta be more to this life than trying to kill the pain. Oh, will anybody help me break these chains? Thanks for joining us on the porch today. You just heard a little bit of our new song called Break These Chains. And we'll play the whole song at the end of this video if you'd like to stick around. Did you know there are over 50 million Americans addicted to tobacco? And that one in eight adults in this country are addicted to alcohol? And over 20 million of us struggle with substance abuse. But it's not all about drugs and alcohol. Addictions come in many shapes and sizes. And there are so many things in this world that can grab our attention and steal our heart. I know about addiction firsthand, unfortunately. I was addicted to tobacco for over 20 years. I learned that nicotine is a very powerful drug and it is so hard to quit. It makes me sad to think about how much money I spent over the years feeding my addiction. But it not only affects our bank accounts, it affects other areas of our life as well. So a few years ago, all these problems began weighing on me very heavily. And I guess you could say I hit rock bottom. And that's where I found the cure for addiction. Because the rock that I landed on at the bottom, the lowest, lowest place I've ever been in my life, was the solid rock of Jesus Christ. That's right, Jesus is the cure. And we need to understand that our hitting rock bottom is not a surprise to Him. In fact, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1 that God chose us in Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world, which means He knew us before we were born. So now that you know Jesus is the cure, I'll tell you three ways He helps us break the chains of addiction. Number one, Jesus gives us peace. In fact, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 9 that He is the Prince of Peace. So what good is the peace of Jesus to an addict? I'm glad you asked. It's been my experience that a life controlled by addiction is a life of chaos. Priorities out of order, selfish behavior, the list goes on. So what's the opposite of chaos? Peace. And that's why we need Jesus. All we got to do is ask Him, and He'll give us the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. That's from Philippians chapter 4. You hear that sound? Is that a peaceful sound to you? The sound of rushing water? It's always been one of my favorite sounds. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 1 that the voice of Jesus is like the sound of rushing water. Now doesn't that just make perfect sense? The second way Jesus helps us beat our addiction, He gives us rest. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 11 that those of us who are weary and burdened can come to Jesus and He will give us rest. Trust me, nothing makes you more weary or more burdened than addiction. But Jesus wants to take those burdens and give us rest and He is uniquely qualified to do so because He endured everything the world has to offer including death on a cross. But there ain't no grave going to hold Jesus down. Nope. He's our living, breathing, sin-smashing, death-bashing, demon-thrashing, and chain-crashing Savior of the world. Watch out, addiction, because He's coming for you. Oh yeah, speaking of demon-thrashing, Check out the third way Jesus helps us break the chains of addiction. He gives us transformation. There's a story in the Bible in Mark chapter 5 about a demon-possessed man who lived in a cave maybe similar to this one. The demons that controlled the man were called legion, which most likely means they numbered in the thousands. But the demons were no match for Jesus. When he arrived, 
he ordered the demons to leave the man, and they had no choice but to obey. The Bible says people came from miles around to see the formerly demon-possessed man clothed in his right mind and telling anyone who would listen what Jesus had done for him. Sometimes we just need to cry out for help. That's what I did when I was completely controlled by my addiction. I cried out to Jesus and He heard me and He helped me and He transformed me. I've been tobacco free for six years and I've never looked back. I hope something we said here today has helped someone to beat their addiction. I'd like to close with a song I wrote several years ago in the midst of my struggle and it's called Break These Chains. And I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like us. Changer, world shaker with the power to set me free.